Hi everyone, it's Rebecca Keppel and I'm here for Jelly Bean Soup today and I want to talk about altering composition books. This is an idea that I saw years ago on a friend of mine's blog. Her name is Diana Waite and I'm going to link to that here. And I noticed that one of my pins has become most popular and it's my composition board that I altered. So I want to show you how quick and easy it is to make these. If you have a few items like this corner chomper from We Are Memory Keepers, a composition book, some pattern paper. You don't need to measure anything. This is how I do it. I use a tape runner. I like the one from Thermoweb that is the Memory Runner XL and I cover the front of the composition board with tape runner and then I line up an edge of the pattern paper on the top and on the side and then all I have to do is flip it over and trim the edges off. And here's where the corner chomper comes in handy because you don't have to cut around the little circular corners there. You can just use the corner chomper. I have the one that has a half inch and a quarter inch and I'm using the half inch to corner chomp these. This way if you get a little bit of the composition board in there you can cut that and it'll exactly match the shape of your pattern paper. Whereas if you use just a regular photo corner punch, it won't cut through the composition board and you might have just a little unevenness there. So I really recommend these corner chompers. They're great for mini albums and these altered composition books. So on the front of the composition book, I wanted to use some of the Jilly Bean Soup bite-sized bits. These are the 12 by 12 sheets that you can cut down to 3 by 4 cards. I cut down that Collect Moments card a little bit smaller to 3 by 4 and I wanted it to sit on this strip of pink pattern paper also by Jelly Bean Soup and I wanted the pattern paper to be thin enough of a strip that you still see lots of the flowers. Okay, so for this strip, I'm gonna flip it over and just put adhesive on the spot that would be under the composition book, and again, open up the cover and just snip off the extra hanging off there. This is how I like to do mini albums or anything where you're covering something with paper because I hate measuring. I can't stand it, it's not fun for me, and I just, I won't do it, so. <laughs> I find every way around having to pull out a ruler and measure unless I absolutely have to. So now I'm going to just tuck some of the little die cuts uh, from the same collection. This is the Bowl of Dreams collection from Jelly Bean Soup. I'm going to link all of the products down below, so don't worry about that. And I wanted to have little clusters behind this and in front of this Collect Moments card. So I'm just kind of playing around with an assortment of die cuts, and I'm gonna use this same adhesive, the Memory Runner XL, for everything on this altered composition book. Just to show you that you don't necessarily need an arsenal of adhesives. I like having them, but you don't have to have it for this project anyway. So now I'm gonna cover the inside of the book and I'm gonna use the exact same technique. So you'll see me do this a few times, um, and I think it's just, hammers home the idea that again you don't have to measure it beforehand and it's pretty easy to just cut around the edges there and if you ever have some uneven edges or little spots where it's a little frayed from the scissor you can either use an emery board sometimes I even use my nail and just kind of rub against it and that will smooth out your edges so I'm doing the back inside corner as well. And that's the thing, if I don't have to do all this measuring and mathematics and all of that good stuff, then I'm willing to put in some extra time and cover the insides, the backs, you know, that kind of thing. So now I've decided that I'm also gonna do some tabs in the inside and some dividers. So the way to, for me to do that is to just, again, cover a sheet of the paper about a third away through the book with the pattern paper that I'm using, and again, and trim from behind and then use the corner chomper. You don't have to use it with chipboard. You can just use it with paper like I did here. So now to make the tabs, I'm gonna pull out another We Are tool. This is the We Are Tab Punch and there are available some clear stickers that work exactly with the punches. So I'm gonna punch two of the same pattern paper. I'm using the yellow dots here and I'm gonna glue them together with the yellow dots on the outside. Then I'm gonna line it up with the middle of the clear sticker 
and then I'm gonna line up the tab with the edge of the divider. And then all you have to do is fold the back of the sticker down and then you have this heavy duty tab divider that you could even use with an erasable marker, like a right on right off marker. And so I'm gonna do this again two more times. I'm gonna cover my pattern paper with some adhesive. I'm gonna flip over the page and I'm gonna cut off the excess. And I like the way they'll have one page of a journal that'll have a hint of pattern paper behind it. I think that's kind of cool. So then I'm going to corner chomp. And for this one, I decided that I wanted to also put one of those three by four cards that I cut up. And now I'm going to use the tab punch to create another tab. And you can see I screwed this one up. I had feathers on one side and then the green on the other side. So I just cut another one and glued them together. So this one's a little extra thick, but that's okay. You can't really tell the difference. And then I'm closing the book to see where the first tab is so that I can have this tab be in the middle. And again, I'm not measuring. I'm just eyeballing. That's how I do this whole project. I think it's more fun that way and a little less stressful. And you're not going for perfection here. You're just going for a cute little altered composition book, but it still could be a gift. My daughter loves when I make these for her. So I'm going to do the third large divider here. And like I said, you can see the little uh, pluses from the back of the pattern paper. I think that's kind of cool. So I'm going to cut off the excess and chomp the corners and then find another three by four card. And I'm corner chomping these as well. I didn't do it to the front of the book and I probably should have, but I think it looks nice on these inside dividers here. So I'm going to use that coordinating pink paper to make the tab here. And like I said, I close the book just slightly just to see where the last divider was so that I have them at least a little bit spread out. And then I went back and decided I wanted to kind of decorate a little bit more. So I have the little dream catcher here. And for the inside cover, I grabbed the cardstock stickers. I love this set of stickers because it's got a font alpha with some numbers. It's got some mini words. I'm gonna add a little mini word to the dream catcher here. And then I decided, wouldn't it be fun to add some mini word stickers to the tabs themselves? So, you know, she could always peel those off if she didn't wanna use them that way. But I kind of like having one be memories and things like that. So just adding a few more stickers here and there and on the sticker sheet they actually have tabs so I thought wouldn't it be fun to have a couple of dividers in between the major dividers that wouldn't have necessarily the divider page but would have the little tabs just to break up the album even more and add some interest to the outside when you close the whole book and you see all those tabs together I think it looks really cute so the next thing I want to do is put the date on it. So I'm going to use this same sticker sheet. I'm telling you, I get such mileage from these sticker sheets because there's so much on them, even though it just looks like a tiny little sticker sheet. So I'm going to put 2017 on the front there. And once that's done, I think pretty much the book is ready to go, except for I don't like the black binding. So I've decided what I'm going to do is cover that up. So I'm just walking you through the book the way it is, deciding that this is looking good and then we're ready to cover the binding. And one easy way to do that is with washi tape. So I have this glitter washi tape from Queen & Co. And I'm just gonna lay it over the front, just overlapping the pattern paper a touch so that it definitely covers all of the black. I'm gonna do the same thing on the back and just trim it to the edge there. And then I'm gonna trim the other edges off. And the next thing will be, because this is thinner washi tape, I do have one more strip of black right in, in the middle in between the two washi sheets. So I'm gonna try and lay it down, but you'll see that I really struggle here because I'm trying to glue washi to washi, and that often doesn't work unless it's very, very sticky, which traditional washi is not. So what I'm gonna do is use that same Memory Runner XL and just run some adhesive down the black binding and then a tiny bit on both sides of the sparkle. I'm gonna do one at a time. So I'm gonna cut the, the washi down, I'm gonna lay it down on the adhesive that I already have, and then I'm gonna flip the book over, 
lay another line of adhesive down and then I should be able to adhere it all together and have it actually stick. And this Memory Runner XL, like I said, I've done all my mini albums with it. I've done my Christmas albums, my December dailies, things like that, things that get handled and this adhesive really holds up. So once you have everything glued down, here is your entire journal. You have that great little inside cover with the cool quote. You have your first tab divider, your second, I just had to really stick those stickers together, and second big divider, little tab divider, third big divider there, and then uh, the back cover. So, and then of course the beautiful washi binding. So that is this project. It's super easy to do. Again, it's no measuring and lots and lots of fun. And they're great for gifts or just for giving to yourself. So I hope you'll give them a try. And thanks so much for stopping by.